Hello guys and welcome back to week 5 of film studies. This week will be a continuance from week 4 when I talked about set designs. This week will be props and how they are connected to certain genres. Prop is known as property. It is whatever is in that scene or in that room in the film. It is whatever the actor or the actors end up coming in contact with and using in their scene. Props are a very powerful tool when it comes to the arts. Whatever prop they put in their film, in their TV series, or in their show usually becomes a symbol for that show. For example, if you look at the very classic film, The Wizard of Oz, you're more likely thinking of right now the yellow brick road or the ruby slippers that Dorothy used to wear. When you look at the horror genre, the first thing that would be a major prop in it would be weapons. If you see a vial of poison, a gun or a knife or even an axe, these would be considered as props. Another thing that would be considered as props in the horror genre would be masks. This is usually typicalized with villains, for example Hannibal or Leatherface. In the superhero genre, props are a very heavy tool, as more likely in that franchise they'll get turned into merchandise. If you look from Marvel films to DC films, each character has their own prop that they will always be concluded with. For example, if you look at Batman, you think of the Batman symbol. If you look at Captain America, you'll straight away think of his shield. And then if you think of Hulk, you'll think of his fist. And then if you go on back to DC, you can think of Superman and you straight away think of the Super S. All these are connected into that genre. Another genre that would use props heavily would be the mystery genre. This would be the classic whodunit. One thing that comes to mind quickly would be the classic game and the classic story of Cluedo. The classic thing of Who Done It, where they have an object, a room, and a group of people, all are used as props in the mystery of who killed who. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back next week when I talk about sound and film and how even changing the simple tempo would change the genre of that film.